to this one part, though. <laughs> I do appreciate all the alternative titles. I can't... I'm trying to figure out who has... I want to say who it's has more what? Who has more hmm. of the titles to their name. I want to say it's you, but I know that I will never live down the shame of people roads. Yeah, that's true. So, put it up just the other day, actually. People watching this might not know until you just blew the secret. Well, they don't know the they don't know the meaning. Well, they're never gonna get to. Yeah. Okay. Unless they troll like the internet archives. Okay, now we've got both of those walls of light yeah. rewired. And like, and of course, you know, I mean, there's no, there's no reason nice. to conserve your rewiring tools here. If, I mean, assuming you, you know, splurged on them like I did. And there's no reason not to splurge on them because it's, it's just been here. I forgot that you had to get rewiring tools. Well, you can find them. Oh, you thought you could just like was just a, something you could just do on your own. I thought it was just no. like a thing that you did. So now we can walk in through the front doors if we want. Is it the classiest way to enter? It would be polite to announce ourselves, I suppose. Maybe remove our blood-soaked boots. Or at least wipe them off a little. <laughs> It'd be the proper thing. I mean, you know, Pendleton, he's like a high society type. He'd probably appreciate the gesture. Oh, there's also... Rat hole there. If you want to use the possession nice. power to get in, like I said, the, the game does does a nice job of making of giving you a lot of options. And in a way that feels like natural. Hmm. All right. King Sparrow Fort. Over here, just a few things you can pick up. Hmm. Explosive bullets. Those are. You'll, I will. I will try out some explosive bullets later. Don't worry. And here's another way in. <laughs> Drainage. So uh, this is obviously the way we're going. Now, do you think climbing a chain would be easier than climbing the rope? Because you can kind of have. Yeah, it seems holes. like yeah, you could. There'd be more more stuff to grip. Yeah, I'd expect it would be. Could no. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's uh, someone we know. And I guess we could actually just assassinate him here. Is that the high over? It is indeed. The new one, Teague. Nice. I thought, no, no. The the new one, Teague Martin. Did you not just shoot? I, him in it the it face? clanged off a piece of metal. Oh. Okay, look at that, look at that hole in the wall there. Oh, you found Pendleton. Stupid blue 
Let's see how you like this. Martin, you couldn't hit me if I was standing next to you. <laughs> Now you can, you could potentially take him down, you know, like before he even gets back to his little office. But that you, then you have to rush out. Plus it's more interesting if you talk to him first. Now you gotta be careful because in addition to the guards, there's overseers. Some of whom have, you know, the, uh, the anti-magic musical boxes. And they can, and as we've established, they can mess you up. Very big area. A lot of guards. Mm. <clears throat> Bam. Well, at least there's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, it doesn't seem as It's not uh, wasted space by any means. It's right. Um, That's all the the deep the like uh, just, you can see a second ago the, the detail on the uh, the the gun you know the gun on his hip you can see it when you're carrying him. That's nice. yeah. I like to think that uh, when they went through the game, they made a note of everything that you could conceivably see and tried to craft it with that much detail. It would be pretty disappointing to pick up that card and see he's just got a low. Yeah. Poly texture gun. Yeah, they, they pay attention to the little things. Now, what what else did this uh, studio go on to make? I think this is their most recent uh, game. It was made by Ar a company called Arcane Studios. Who did, uh... Oh, no, who did, um... Well, they did Bioshock 2? Oh, wait, no, they did they did some of the... They did that some other right. design in it, okay. Uh, they, um, they did Arx Fatalis and, uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Dark Messiah okay. of Might and Magic is sort of an action RPG. And actually, you know the thing how, like, when a guy is down and you, like, you, you impale them on the ground with your sword? That's, like, a yeah. very common maneuver in Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, actually. I see. Uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, it's it, kind of the optimal, it, the optimal so strategy for a lot of Dark Messiah of Might and Magic is use kick to knock a guy down, then... Then impale him on the ground. Oops! Let's try that again. And they did Arc Arc's Fatalis, which is also an RPG, I believe. According to Wikipedia, they uh, they were at one point commissioned to work on Episode Four. That can't be right. Oh no, apparently it is. Uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 4 Return to Ravenholm. Um, some other titles they worked on were the multiplayer of Call of Duty World at War, which I enjoyed. Uh... As you said, the level design assistance for Bioshock 2. And apparently there's an upcoming sequel to and, Prey, uh, of all things. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to remember Prey. That's where the Cherokee? Is that the... Yeah, you played the Native American. Um, and he would do that spirit walking thing. Yep. That was pretty cool. I played that game. Okay. It was different. But it's also like, you can kind of see, like, like Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, it also, 
it was a game where like there was a lot of stuff you could do. There are a lot of hidden areas. There are a lot of different like alternative ways to get things done. So you can kind of see that sort of spirit in Dishonored. Oh, although Dark Messiah yeah. Might, Might and Magic was also known for being kind of... And it had like a lot of technical problems and such. Yeah. And there goes another one. Gradually whittling them down. I thought that said cat house for a second. Where it says gatehouse. <laughs> Oops. Ah, well. Close enough. Uh-oh. It's the coppers! They're on to me! Adrenaline power, or not, or whatever it's called. It you the, the stat is called adrenaline. It lets you do the special melee kills. <laughs> Oops! There. I think I only wounded him. Yeah. Oh, nice. exploding bullet! <laughs> there we go. Laryngitis or something. <laughs> Dedicated, still coming to work. Well, maybe he has a limited number yeah, of sick days. And he'd probably go through sick days pretty fast in Dunwall. <laughs> As I haven't used my. I have 30 bullets. Explosive bullets. And we will try out the sticky grenades later on, too. Try it. I am not a great shot. <laughs> I probably should have used the mouse for shooting more often. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, more degree. You know, they see these guys dropping dead. I'm really surprised nobody's running for cover. They're not the brightest guards. But yeah, that would be that would be a nice thing. Oh! Oh, I think that, oh, there's a he I think that's a head. Like a boss. I think I got a guy. Nice. And I am out of crossbow bolts. I came in with 30 and I am empty. Uh oh. They're on to me. Yep. <laughs> Can you not use the sleep darts? Yeah. And, or the incendiary darts. Or the gun. Or the explosive gun. <laughs> or the two different types of grenades. Or the spring, or the spring razors. razors. Or swarms of rats. There's so many ways. Of dudes in this area. All right. I won't be catching any rats probably. 
now we're right above Martin. Oh, I'll find this. Nice. You could just. You could. You can just, you know, plug him without him ever even knowing you're there. <laughs> but. It's more, it, like I said, he has some stuff to say to you if you meet him in person. If you, if you see, if you talk to him. Right. Mind if I drop in? 